I am interfacing with Buhari on Onandis Kano's release. David Omae tells the East. Well, guess what? People are blasting him left, right, and center to say because elections are drawing close, you want to show to us that um, you are now speaking with Buhari with regards to Onandis Kano's release. We thought you were the one who said if any IPOB come to your state, you will do this, you will do that, you will arrest them. Now you are intensifying and intensif you know, interfacing with Buhari to get him released. You know, so people are not really happy, you know, with the current, you know, things, are, I, I mean, especially with the way things are and how things have been, you know. But he said he's interfacing. Hope this interfacing will result to good, will bring out, a, will be productive, so to say. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. David Umayi says, I am interfacing with Buhari to get Unandikanu released. The chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, David Umayi, on Tuesday assured Ibos that the national leader of the, of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Unandikanu, will soon be released from DSS detention. David Umayi, who made this known in Abakaliki, said he, in, he initiated a political dialogue with Buhari, President Muhammad Buhari, to ensure the immediate release of Unandikanu from DSS detention. The governor, who equally allocated 2.5 acres of land located opposite the international market Abakaliki to the Association of Computer Village Machin Machineries, of Nigeria lamented that many businesses are closing down in South East because of unknown gunmen. He said since the commencement of the activities of the unknown gunmen, people are preferred people people now refer prefer to take their businesses to other regions of the country rather than die in their own states. Why do we still have unknown gunmen in the southeast? This is the first time it is happening in Igbo land. There was a time it was so terrible in, Ab in, Aba in Abia state, in Onicha, and so many other places. Igbo men knew what to do. We are coming to that point. Businessmen are moving away from from our place. For what? I have gone to President Muhammad Buhari and initiated a political dialogue over our brother, Mazu Nandi Kanu, and that process is on. And I don't see any reason why we should be killing ourselves, fighting our own people, making sure that the economy, making sure that the economy of the people stays. What is this sit at home order? Fighting ourselves, making sure that the economy of the Southeast is going down. This is not fair. Some of these people that initiated this sit at home order are outside the country and we are here obeying them. They can never sit at home in that country for one day because they work 24 hours. And if they do, they will go on hunger strike or kill themselves. He noted that Igbos are the enemy of themselves, pointing out that until the activities of the known government are stopped, the region will continue to suffer economic devastation. He said this has to stop. They will do my call for a concrete effort towards bringing an end to this, to this search of hum humiliation treatment against the Igbos by gunmen, adding that he has met with President Muhammad Buhari towards having a political solution to the continuous detention of Afunan Dindakano to get him released as soon as possible. He asked those, in, those insisting on the sit at home order to also ensure it is not restricted to the five to the five southeast states but to all Igbos across the country and the globe. Governor David Umayi called on Indigos to always come out to come back home to invest, adding that such investment would not only develop the region but will boost the economy fortune of the region. So this is what is going on. Mazuna and the Kanu is still in police detention, yes, and um, unknown gunmen. We all know how that is going down. It has not been going very well with the state with this unknown gunmen whole activity things have gone from bad to worse you know so when you look at it you understand that the unknown government activity has to be stopped otherwise things may not you know go the way everybody has thought so this is what is happening and then david according to him is already working you know in synergy to ensure that uh, president muhammad buhari you know the the, the release on the kanu on the kanu is already you know what is going on with the kanu is not acceptable 
it's not because he committed an offense okay because he said what is going on in the south is is not acceptable and that people should not you know be treated with disdain the south is has seriously been marginalized and yet the the governors can't be bothered okay most of them can't be bothered and they would rather stay where they are and pretend like nothing is going on because they are governors they have to be governors you know they don't care about what happened to the common man and woman on the streets so these are some of the things going on and he said that the unknown government activities should stop because they are known you know in Imo state we got to know that uh, the whole uh, ipob ipob being discussed is actually the present governor hope and the former governor rogers they are the, with both of them you know they were re exposing themselves that they had killer squad they did this they did that it was not ipob who killed this person it was actually hope people or it was actually this person's people and when you look at it at the end of the day some other persons have been taking the bond or the fall for it so how do we really go with this so david said well he has he has initiated talks a uh, uh, dialogue talk with uh, president muhammad buhari to provide political solution to ensure that Tuna and Dekanu is free from the current you know current uh, uh, continuous incarceration that he's been going through and that um, you know they are working at it to ensure that um, the unknown government they should please stop their activities uh, because they, i mean they are killing their own brothers their own brothers in the state their very own brothers you know, they go there, they kill their own brothers. And so everybody's taking their business away. Where you are not safe, what, what are you doing business there for? You know, he said those who started the whole city at home, they are not even living in Nigeria, according to him. You know, most of them, is according to him, said they are outside the shores of the country. Yet they are telling people what to do back at home and they are insisting that this must be done. If you guys have you know, spoken out with regards to Ona and the Kanu's continuous incarceration, you guys have really you know, voiced out and have not been silent. You guys have really been you know, tr sincerely open and you know, honest with everything. I don't think all this would have been happening. I don't think so. I don't think all this would have been happening. So the time to make that real change and real difference is now. Because Nigerians, the, you know, the whole lies we keep telling to ourselves at some point have to come to an end so that at the end of the day, we are all free from the continuous embarrassment. Under the can of Sunday, Boho, you know, more, more election were ready, they should be freed. What have they done? What really is their crime? What have they done to warrant all these things being done to them? You know, continuous incarceration for what? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.